Hi, I'm going to show you an exercise that's mostly for kind of altering your balance sense, um, a little bit of range of motion in your back and your neck. Now, as you've noticed on my wall back here, this is not ideal because I have a painting in the way, but I have a better wall to show you this exercise. So we're going to make do. Now there's options here. If you feel like you need more balance support, you would do these things with your cupboards in your kitchen cabinet. And you have um, a nice flat surface here that would make you feel stable. And you have cabinets maybe below and nothing around you that you can trip on. If you don't need that, you can just do it with a wall. So I want you to imagine old school analog clock, okay? So the analog clock, you're the center of the clock. And there's 12 o'clock, there's, I gotta flip this around, that would be to you, three o'clock, uh, six o'clock, nine o'clock, and all the things in between, all the clocks, all the numbers in between. And what you wanna do is focus on always moving where you know where your body is. There's a weight transfer that we're wanting to think about. That's coming from your feet, into the knees, into the hips, into the tummy where it's supporting you, up to the mid spine, up to the neck. Always knowing where your eyes are, looking where your head is. Because if you don't move your eyes and your head to where you want to touch, your body doesn't know how to kind of calibrate below it, never mind feel it from the floor. So always remember, when you're trying to touch one of the post-it notes or whatever it is, stickers that you use, you have to actually make sure you first visually look, you find the spot with your eyes, and then move your body accordingly. So the idea is that you start in the center of the clock. And I've got post-it notes here that are not too far out of my reach. You can start there. I don't want you to end there, but that is where you can start. You notice if I'm the center of the clock, then if I go to here, that would technically be to you three o'clock. The camera switched, so I have to adjust. And out here would be nine o'clock. I can't really see my hand. And this would be 11 o'clock. And this would be one o'clock. So down below, you also have things. So you see this little blue guy here. That is to like four o'clock. You can have down here at six o'clock, wherever. You start some of them, you can do as many as you want. The goal is that if I choose to do, let's say this guy, it's a little bit close for me. I'm the center, I look with my eyes, I look with my head. It rotates to see where I'm headed. When doing that, my body has to adjust accordingly. I still need to take a little bit more weight onto my right leg, right? So I look, I see, I focus, I weight transfer, I touch. I come back into the center. I look up and I see the one at 12 o'clock. I look up, I touch 12 o'clock. This one I'm using my left hand and I come back in. Maybe I use my right hand. In doing so, I weight shift more on the opposite leg. Feel that, be aware of what you have to do. You can start with just tapping on the side of the arm that you're on, that's easier. It's easiest in this plane here, harder to bend down, harder to cross over. That's the point of the exercise. So now maybe I'll say, I'll use my left hand, I'll look over to that post-it note, I weight transfer onto my right, and I tap. Maybe I pick it up, and I put it a little bit further. You can't even see it now, because it's not in the field of view. But I can move it maybe to here, where you can see it. I come back into center. Maybe I look up and I see this 12 o'clock one, and I put it down below. I put it down to maybe about 5 o'clock for you, something like that. There's no exact plan. What I want you to feel is that you start with the head, you move, you see it with your eyes, your body weight transfers either side to side, maybe a little bit forward to back because you're going one to side, and you make it so that it's harder and harder, but you go where you're always thinking about it and don't go quickly.